Hey guys, it is me, Victoria, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about something uh, personal, as all these videos are, but I was reading through my old cognitive behavioral therapy homeworks from when I was really depressed, and an idea kind of hit me that my depression all really stemmed from one thing which started when I was about 13 years old and that was or, or maybe even you know earlier like the groundwork was laid and that was like a deep uh, fear and shame massive massive shame about my sexuality and by sexuality I just mean like yeah I guess my sexuality um and it was only through, I think, that this massive shame about my sexuality caused my depression. I've kind of made another video about this, but I just see it even more clearly now. Because it made me get into a basically codependent relationship. Because I was so afraid of basically being a slut and having sex and basically having fun and having connections with multiple guys, um, you know, when I was in college, that I put all my eggs in one basket, this one guy, um, this relationship with this one guy. And I started to become desperate because I didn't have options. And I didn't think other options were available to me. And I was scared to seek out other options. And so when this one option that I had didn't work out, I became hopeless and massively depressed. So the depression lasted for a long time until I finally healed the core issue, which was fear of my sexuality. And I did that through basically pole dancing and which gives you permission to explore your sexuality um, for yourself in kind of like a dark room, at least the place where I learned it. And finally, um, stripping, which really made me own it and be okay with it and cool with it and really like master it. And after that, my explorations continued and now I see my sexuality as definitely a gift definitely something that makes my life so much deeper and more fascinating and so I feel so lucky that I'm a person who can accept my dark side and my deepest desires and how that teaches me a lot about who I really am deep down how I'm able to be honest with myself in that way and accept it so yeah let me just go into this a little bit more. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But, um, all right, I made a few quick notes. So yeah, um, I think that I'm a hypersexual person. That means like on the spectrum of asexuality to hypersexuality on the far extreme. It means I experience like a lot of sexual desire just uh, spontaneously. Um, like people who are asexual, they, ne you know, they may it's like they never, it's kind of hard for me to comprehend since I don't really feel it, but they never, feel this, they never experience spontaneous sexual desire. They never get like a rush of heat, like a physiological response. And they never have like, you know, spontaneous, wow, I'm like, they don't experience that. Whereas people who are hypersexual do. So when I, you know, adolescence and all that, I started experiencing that and it was really, really difficult for me to understand because I didn't have anyone educating me about sex positivity and all that. I just thought, wow, I'm truly crazy. This is so messed up. I mean, I think guys have a little, have it a little bit easier because um, guys talk about this with themselves, but um, no one talked about this with me. I had five sisters. We never talked about that. Ever. Okay. So, I didn't know what, like, masturbation was. Um, it was... 
it's not like my parents were negative about sexuality. They weren't like religious shaming me and saying, you know, you must remain a virgin until you're married. But I just picked up from like cultural things that, you know, sex was shameful, being a slut was bad, and you know, being into sex was like really bad, and it's just like pure insanity to like, you know, act on your sexual desires in like high school. I don't know, and I was very shy too, so I don't really have much opportunity um, unless I just, you know, had completely changed my personality really. So anyway, um, like I said, this was all like this fear of my sexuality. I didn't even realize like how bad it was. Um, I thought it was just normal. I thought it was just the way it is. And I mean, most girls aren't really truly that sex positive. It's kind of rare. I mean, most women still have a kind of deep-seated fear of liking sex too much, um, being too flirtatious, being too sexual, you know, sleeping with too many guys. So, yeah, um, I got into this relationship basically in college. It's kind of a situationship, but instead of doing what I should have done, which is dating multiple people, I couldn't. I was too scared, like I said, and so I ended up feeling like he was really it, and I was in love with him, and, you know, that was partially true. I was in love with him, but... If that happened to me now, I would realize he was awesome. I'm never going to find another person like him, but there are a lot of other people who are going to be different from them, and I'm going to have great experiences with them too. I have to move on. I have to explore my options. I have to date other people, and I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it no matter what. I didn't have that attitude back then. It was kind of just like, what am I going to do without him? And, like I said, that caused serious, almost suicidal depression. And one day, I really felt, like, through kind of a long and winding trail, I felt called to do pole dancing. And I really felt like a weird mystical feeling, where it's almost like the stuck energy inside of me was, like, vibrating. Like, you know, go for it. This is it. Like, you're about to touch, like, the forbidden door. And um, pole dancing really gives women that safe space, that kind of, ta like, the reason it's so taboo is it says, women, it's okay to be a slut. Just try it on. And when you do, you discover the power of your sexuality. So I finally, um, through a bunch of stuff I did, and, you know, pole dancing, and then, like I said, eventually stripping, I was able to openly talk about my sexuality, my hypersexuality. I'm proudly sex positive. I, you know, have gone to like all these kink events, tried to educate myself on deeper and deeper levels about the different fantasies that, you know, run the spectrum that people have and um, the deeper meaning of those fantasies and what they really say about who I am as a person on the deepest level beyond societal conditioning because let me tell you I did not choose um these fantasies trust me I wouldn't have chosen um so yeah I wanted to say that sometimes like depression can be caused by a deep shame that somehow leads to kind of like, like it manifests itself in like strange ways, like it kind of comes out in different areas of your life, and only by healing the root of that shame can everything suddenly evaporate. So yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later.